good, anime fans. It's your boy, Anime Rich. And we have a little bit of different content for you guys today, man. I am doing a competition, a fitness competition for those, for those that don't know or are not aware. Um, I've been prepping for it for the past three, three and a half months now. And uh, honestly, it's been, it's been an interesting experience. I'm not gonna lie to you. It hasn't been shit. It hasn't been awful. You know what I mean? It's been close to awful, you know what I'm saying? But now we on peak week, man. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, yeah, this is the one that people talk about <laughs> all the time. So I'm gonna show you guys what peak week looks like. From my perspective, this would be my first one. So not only did I want to record it for myself to see how I potentially not making it or making it through this peak week, but uh, I wanted to record it for you guys, you know what I'm saying? I just want to build a community with you guys and show you a little bit extra outside of just the anime reactions and stuff that I'm going through in my life and whatnot. So, uh, you know what I'm I'm going to use this video, these videos for my own accountability and uh, um, for anybody that's interested in doing any type of bodybuilding in the future, this is what you're going to have to go through too. So you'll kind of see like the gist of uh, just about, you know what I'm saying? Like what it's going to be like, right? Also, if uh, you guys are really big into weight loss, I'll show you like some of the stuff that I do to continue to drop my weight while still maintaining so a little bit of muscle mass. So that'll be good for you guys too, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm gonna get started with peak week. This is day one. So uh, <laughs> let's see how this thing goes, man. Let's see, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and get up out of bed and get my breakfast and I'll catch back up with y'all. First things first, in the morning, every time that I get up, I have to go ahead and weigh myself to make sure that I'm still in good condition. I didn't gain too much weight, I didn't lose too much weight. And uh, basically, this is another way I stay accountable. So let's just see where we're at today, man. That's what we're sitting at. Sure, so this is basically what my <laughs> breakfast is looking like. A little sloppy egg whites. I'm definitely gonna mix that salt in. It's a little bit of, you know, so I don't have a lot of salt. But uh, we also have some blueberries uh, with some oatmeal and brown sugar. This is what the breakfast looks like when you're doing your competitions. I probably shouldn't have put this much salt, Jesus Christ. This is essentially what my breakfast is gonna be looking like. I'm gonna do a little bit of a mukbang while I talk to you guys. Um, when it comes to like this type of stuff, I'm gonna show you all what specifically goes into it. And um, we're just gonna have fun doing it, man. I will say though, is that this fitness competition has taught me a lot when it comes to like the whole weight loss process. And it really helps me with my goals of um, achieving to be a personal trainer one day and um, helping other people with their own weight loss journeys. Um, mainly because I do already have my cert certification, you know what I'm saying, asthma certification. I got that already. And this competition is only adding to my experience, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do it so badly. And on top of that, it's like, Fitness is fun. As lame as that shit sounds coming out of my mouth, I actually do. Fitness is fun. You know what I'm saying? It, well, you know, it's cool. It's cool. I love, I love, you know, working out and stuff like that. The biggest part for me was switching my diet around because I'm a big foodie. Um, and that shit has been terrible. Uh, but outside of that, man, it's not that bad. It's really, really, it's really not that bad. Um, so I went in the weight loss category. Um, definitely learned different ways to work out different ways to eat and all the stuff that I pretty much retained throughout my whole process so it'll be good information to use later on down the road um, when I might need it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I'll show y'all what the next portion of day one is gonna end up looking like. All right y'all so we have officially officially pulled up to the infamous gym where I've been doing most of my training but we are over here at Powerhouse Fitness Gym Center and we're about to go get some posing done. Um, every Sunday that I've been doing this prep for like the past three and a half weeks or three and a half months, excuse me, past three and a half months, I've been coming over here and doing my posing practice to make sure that I'm going to be, you know, do well on stage and, uh, we'll see how it goes, man. I mean, with my, with my specific background and my job that I do, I do a lot of briefings and whatnot. So I'm, 
in such certain situations like this where I have to go up in front of people, it shouldn't be that bad, you know what I'm saying? I already got a little bit of experience under my belt. And obviously from my basketball background in high school, I played in front of people, a, a crowd of people and stuff like that. So I don't think it should be too much different. I feel like I should be okay when I actually go up in there and compete. But um, hey man, shit, this is a new platform. This is a new scenario. So it's like, oh shit. I'm doing like a whole different thing. It's more individual based. So um, yeah, I mean, shit, we'll see how it goes, man. But we're about to go in here and uh, do some more posing practice for today. And this is actually my last posing practice, man. Bittersweet, it's crazy. Um, better because, you know, you all, sh after a while, you start making friends with people and start enjoying their time and their company and having a good time and whatnot. Um, but it's good at the same time because now your boy get to get back to being a little bit of a fatty, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and it's around Thanksgiving and Christmas time. Man, y'all about to see me gain all this weight back in like a week. <laughs> we about to go inside and uh, we about to make a shake, you know what I'm saying? We about to do our last posing practice for today. So hope you guys enjoy. I'm about to bring y'all in with me. Let's go. this long time I've been doing all this posing man it's over with that was the last day so uh now we're just gonna go ahead and go back to the crib I got my new diet plan for the last week and uh I'll show y'all what else I do throughout the day man um and I just want to mention this I just want to bring this up just in case people might be like oh well play ball are you doing like actual bodybuilding or are you just fucking doing all these supplements I am doing supplements however all of my supplements are herbal None of them are stimulants. None of them are like performance enhancing drugs, anything like that, PEDs. I'm going in all natural. The only thing I'm taking is all natural like supplement ingredients like ashwagandha, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, so I am competing natural and uh, we'll see if I still get this dub, man. There might be people in my division who end up taking some PEDs or whatever because it's not like actually restricted in the competition. But, uh, if I win, I'll just make that win that much sweeter, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, man, I'll show y'all what the rest of the day looks like. Food, you know what I mean? What I do throughout the day to kind of keep my mind off of it until, like, this shit goes down. Because it is a strict diet, what I have to follow. So, I this is a good way to keep myself occupied. And I uh, hope you guys will be along with the ride for me, man. But we head back to the crib now, so I'll see y'all when we get there. This right here. So this right here is the next meal of the day, man. About mm, close to about 11 ounces of ri white rice, a little bit of seasoned salt in that mug. You know what I'm saying? Make it a little bit juicy. Um, we got ourselves a piece of grilled chicken and some spinach with beans and cheese and seasoned dressing. So that's all we got for lunch. I mean, after this, I'm gonna go work out, and uh, I don't know if y'all want to join me out of that. You know what I'm saying? I, I could do a little bit of some song and see what I could uh, get shaking, but that depends on how many people are in the gym. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and smash this and then you know, I'll see y'all in the next scene. You know? for today and all of the half piece of fish and salad no i'm just kidding <laughs> water of course i gotta fill in this finish this gallon about to end of the day today but um it was like two pieces of fish uh some salad and a water and that was my dinner that was about it i'm taking my supplements and uh 
take my ass to bed, man, after the post gym. You know what I'm saying? I'll obviously, I have my like protein and whatnot. Uh, obviously, I have my protein and whatnot. And um, yeah, that was pretty much it. I didn't really do too much. Other than that, another thing that you guys might want to see, um, pretty much getting some editing done. I got a video on the way, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. Hopefully you guys watch that. Pretty good episode. I thought it was anyways. Um, so that's what we got there. We got ourselves the thumbnail that you're gonna see soon. And uh, you know what I'm saying? This is day one of prep. And um, I, was gonna, I was gonna go ahead and show you guys what workouts you do um, either during prep um, when you're getting ready for a competition or whether or not you want to like just lose weight, what workouts you would be would be more beneficial for you. If you're just looking to lose weight, more than likely you want to do a combination of compound and isolated exercises um, with whatever exercise you do. Some people do like a, a bunch of different things. Some people do like a full body day. Some people do like workout splits where they have like chest and back one day and then shoulders and fucking abs another day. I'm just giving an example. But um, as far as which one is better, I kind of did the research myself, but I don't really know to be honest with y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. There's been research that says beneficial for one um, set of thing. One research that says it's beneficial for another. Um, me personally, if I do do full body days, I'm basically cutting the days down. Like I'm not gonna work out like four days out of the five days of the week. Uh, I'll probably do like three. You know what I mean? Three days out of the week doing full body. If I do like workout splits and shit like that, more than likely it's gonna have to be um, every day or at least one day off for rest and then you got the weekend of course you can do what you will with that um, depending on your goals but like if it's specifically weight loss um, you want to focus more you want to focus more on added cardio at the end of your workout um, at least 20 to 30 minutes afterwards uh, whether that be the Stairmaster Stairmaster is actually pretty beneficial that'll probably be the best thing um, other than that you can do the um, treadmill which is next up and then you have the bike uh, but I would recommend the stair master. And then during the uh, weight exercise before you get to the cardio, what you want to do is make sure you do a lot of cable exercises. Cable exercises are really good um, for like building muscular endurance. Whereas lifting actual weights and heavy uh, circles, pick stuff up, put stuff down type shit, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, stuff like that. You want to really focus that whenever you're like trying to build like a lot more muscle mass. Um, but if you're trying to like lose weight and shred and lean out, um, not saying cut out heavy weights completely, but cable exercises will probably be more beneficial. And um, I was gonna show you guys my workout. I don't know if you guys wanna see that. I could do that another day. Um, I feel kind of awkward about recording myself in the gym. I feel like, you know, I don't even know. It just feels weird, you know I haven't gotten 100% used to it yet, but uh, I could do that either tomorrow or the next day or Thursday. I don't know if I wanna do like just like an everyday thing. I'm not 100% sure yet. Maybe because like, Nine times out of 10, <laughs> whatever I'm showing you today, you're probably gonna see me tomorrow or a variation of it until like Thursday or Friday, which is where my trainer showed me like a different switch up of what my diet would look like because of how close I'm getting to the competition. So I might just skip the next two days and then upload the last few days of prep so y'all can see what it's like. Just, just imagine like everything that you're seeing today is gonna happen the next two, three days and then you're gonna do a switch up for the last two days and then the competition. That's basically what prep is. So you'll see that. Um, and if y'all want added content, I can just show y'all some of the supplements that I'm taking. Stimulant free, um, no type of pets, no type of PEDs, anything like that. Performance enhancing drugs. Um, and then, uh, supplements that I'm taking in my actual like, workout. So y'all let me know if y'all want to see that too. Um, and I can show some footage of that. But uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's like the big stuff going on in my day to day. I'll see you guys the next thing. So we're back. <laughs> it's a brand new day. Um, listen, man, I totally forgot to throw out and throw a little outro in there um, from the last reaction. What I did after the end of the first that first that oh, 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 English. What I did after that last scene, um, essentially go to the movies. I went to the movies last night. No, I did not cheat. Did not cheat. Went to the movies. I had like a singular Rice Krispie Treat because they're fast digesting. Um, they're really great for um, getting a little bit of carbs in before a workout, but um, that's the most that I ate. And then I drank water. That was literally it, man. Went to the movies for the first time. I didn't have any candy, no fried food, um, no soda, no 
this is weird. It was weird. It was weird. But then after I came back, I was kind of beat. You know what I'm saying? It was a little long. Well, not long. It was a marble. It was not long. But um, it was kind of beat. And I was just ready to go lay down because it was a late movie uh, showing of the movie. So this is the next day. All I want to say is that I uh, appreciate you guys for joining my journey. For those that have watched and are watching. And um, I will continue to post more of these um, based off of whether you guys want it or not. For now, we are done with this first episode of Peak Week, and uh, y'all let me know if y'all enjoy.